CEUs and credits. Again, ACEWARE uses a salvation by grace approach, which is if you build the hours, credits, or CEUs on the class and a person enrolls in it, they will earn those credits uh, unless they screw up. And so that's kind of the Lori's note about take them away if they don't earn them. And there are a couple of ways that you can quickly remove credits uh, for those that don't make the class. And in fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to quickly jump through the lookup on that. Looking up. Well, let's talk about the lookup. This is something we didn't have a slide for, Lori. But the new 8.0 search for names is also in courses, which means as you start to enter numbers 2014, you begin to get only those classes that have 2014 in the routine. Now, if I were to go back and say, I want to look for 1414, now we've got a lot of different ones. 14F, we begin to narrow it down, ART. You begin to narrow it down, and then you're at the course. The new search mode in the courses, and I'll get back to that. The beauty of it, you can search for a title now. If I wanted uh, fine arts, I can type in a couple of keywords, and it'll actually search automatically off the top uh, in the course title for that particular category. I don't want fine arts. I want 14F. All right, student manager. Um, we're talking about editing so that when a student enrolls in the class, the hours and the CEUs will be automatically assigned to that student when they register. If they don't make the grade, so to speak, they don't attend, they, they, they only attend one, one week out of the four-week session, you can go in and edit that. Well, you can go in registration by registration, or if you go to student list, and again, if you're looking at the top and see the word editing, that means you can go into any one of the, the CEUs, the reg note, the credits, the grade, and the hours, and manually edit those. So if Jeff Brown only attended half the class, we're going to put 0.8 for him. And we're going to say only eight hours. And his grade was fail. And if Bob Dole didn't even go to the class, maybe he only attended one session. So we're going to give him just 0.4, I guess point, yeah, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 CEUs, and it would be four hours. And again, his grade definitely doesn't get a pass. So you can actually edit all of the CEUs, hours, grades, credit right from the roster view, which generally is a lot faster uh, than going one by one. Um, now, when you're done with this form, if you do Control F4, Control F4, watch the upper right part of my screen underneath your Go to Meeting. It should say X number of records updated, and then if we go into the registration records and find Mr. Dole, you'll see his hours were changed, his hours were changed, and he now is a fail, not rather than a pass. So again, I think for, for those of you that are doing uh, editing, that, that's a great speed up tool. All right, uh, subject code. Subject code is so important. And again, if you add it, it will, they will come. No, not quite. But anything you, when you put a subject code in the course screen, when a student enrolls in that class, it will be added to the student's interest code list. So again, this is probably one of the most important fields you can use for marketing programs and evaluating, doing your statistical analysis, evaluation of your programs. Calendar, putting a date. Uh, Matthew has a new date picker in 8.0. Uh, I think it works a lot better than the other one, not so much issues with some Microsoft stuff. Um, new feature in the system is called Gen RU. All right. The particular benefit of this would be you put in <clears throat> the number of hours the class meets. Let me go back to that. You put in the total hours the class meets, and typically this is for long programs, 400 hours, 600 hours, 
900 hours. You put in the total clock hours, clock hours, indicate how many hours per day your class is going to meet, and then it will actually generate, um, I had a pop-up screen and it's not showing. It will then generate that it'll, it'll actually create the number of class sessions that you need to build out that class. So for 400, session, for 400 hours class that met four hours a day, it should give you 100 class sessions. And of course, it will recognize and bounce over your holiday calendar, uh, which we'll talk about in a bit. Room use. Uh, room use on the course screen allows you to manually edit or change individual room use, uh, individual sessions of a class. So again, going back to the course, uh, we have a class here that has four sessions. If we need to, and look at the note at the top, you may change the date, times, locations. So if you said, well, the second class, which is on the Wednesday the 3rd, happens to fall on my birthday. So I want to move it back to um, Tuesday of the week after the, 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 the 10th. So that would be, I'm just going to type in the new date. It would be the 16th, tab out. And then when I close it and come back, we now have Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday so that we basically move that back so that it's on. I actually edited the first day, the first day of the week. Uh, but basically, you can edit the, to, the day. You can edit the start time. If we said, well, that one, we're going to do an evening class. So that's going to be, and now note, this is in military time. So if we said, that's going to be 8 o'clock at night, which is 20 hundred hours to 2,200 hours, and now there's your time. It does give you your, your human time. And you can even change the location. We're going to move this to the Holiday Inn because we're going to party that night. So again, you can modify individual class sessions through the room use uh, routine. Control F4 to close. And then when you do save, uh, that updates your, your data in the system. All right, I wanted to kind of go through that. Grouping codes. Um, Grouping codes have two primary purposes. One is our ACE web. This determines the category that your class will appear when you're looking at your ACE web catalog groups or subject groups. It also is useful for certificate programs. And again, there is a webinar for that on certificate tracking, including the certificate report wizard. Um, if you are doing, uh, again, if you're a user now, present, future, or potential customer, and you are doing certificate tracking where a student has to take four out of 16 courses and earn a certificate if they've completed them successfully or earned so many hours, we have a wizard for that. So contact your tech, contact Aceware, and we will tell you all about that. Or go watch the webinar, certificate tracking, and you'll learn how to do that. 